On occasions, you may be asked to enter an area of the plant where there has been a gas leak detected by the fixed gas detection equipment or a report of the smell of gas from personnel in the area. It is very important that you plan the test before heading to the work site. Rushing in to check the area could put you at considerable risk. The first part of the planning process is to consider the area of plant that you have been asked to check. What are the potential gases in this area? Could H2S be present? Are the gases lighter or heavier than air? You should also consider the layout of the plant. Could wind passing around vessels cause turbulence, mixing gas and air to form an explosive environment? Are there any fin fan coolers in the area that could move the gas and air to other areas? Access the general arrangement drawing of the area and consider how you will approach the test area bearing in mind the current wind direction. If you consider that there may be a potential risk in carrying out the test, consult others and carry out a risk assessment. Reduce the risk to as low as reasonably practicable and put in place precautions to mitigate the risk. This may include the use of breathing apparatus, a buddy line and harness, continuous radio communication and a rescue plan. Let's try an exercise on the planning requirements for gas testing. Select the four icons that represent the potential precautions that can be put in place to mitigate the risk involved in carrying out a gas test. When you're happy with your answers, press the submit button. Once you have formulated the plan and considered all of the risks, it is time to carry out the gas test. Carry out the fresh air test, ensuring that all readings are stable and that the battery is fully charged. Now, consider the AGT on screen. What should they do next? Type in your answer and press the submit button. Before moving towards the test area, the AGT will check the wind direction. They will then approach the site with the wind to their back to ensure that they're not walking into a toxic gas cloud. The wind will be driving any gases away from the AGT. As a potential gas leak is unknown, the AGT must check the atmosphere all around them as they approach the site. Remember, the AGT should check in front, above and below. Upon arrival at the test area, carry out a systematic test using the gas detector probe. Bear in mind the wind direction so that you are always upwind from the test area. If there is a strong wind prevailing, the probe should be held so that it will pick up any potential gas in the airstream. Working in a controlled pattern, check all flanges, valves and screwed fittings. Allow time for the sample to pass down the hose to the gas detector and be analysed. And always keep an eye on the display screen to be alerted to any changes in the readings. What should you do if a leak is detected? Type in your answer and press the submit button. If a small gas leak is detected, inform the control room and note the nearest tagged instrument or valve for a reference point. If possible, place a tag in the area of the leak so that the operations personnel can quickly identify where remedial action is required. If a large gas leak is detected, inform the control room immediately so that they can carry out emergency actions to isolate the system. If H2S is detected, inform the control room, move upwind from the leak and advise any personnel in the area to do the same.